Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Um, if you remember at the end of last week's video, I had been working on this painting and I said that I was going to put the painting away for a couple of days or so and then look at it again with fresh eyes. Having done that, I've now decided that I'm going to leave the painting exactly as it is for now. And let me just explain the reasons for that. So the first thing to mention is that I, I'm not looking at this as a perfect painting. And in fact, I, I never do that with, with any of my work. But uh, while there are many, many things about this painting that I like, there are a couple of things that I'm a little unsure of, and I'll explain both of those uh, characteristics in just a little bit. But what I often do in this situation is I will take a photograph of the painting as it is now so that I can put it up on my website and then I'll put the painting away for maybe six months, maybe even a year. And then when I come and look at it again after that amount of time, I really can be objective about the work in terms of how I feel about it and what I've done well and what I've done not so well. In addition, I can view this painting in the context of my previous work and, of course, work I've done between now and when I look at this painting again. So let me start with a couple of the things that I'm not too sure about. So the first thing is uh, I'm quite happy with this cow's head so far, but as you can see, I haven't worked it up to a full level of detail. And because of that, the cow's face has you know, rather an odd look. But I'm going to come back in a minute and explain why I'm quite happy with that as well. So, you know, a little bit of indecision there. The other thing is, uh, this cow's face is quite dark. But again, I'm, on, on the whole, I'm quite happy with it. So, it's a little bit of an unusual look for my work. My work is, generally speaking, characterised by bright colours, certainly when it comes to the faces of the animals. And I am very happy with the sense of bright light and almost glare, I've got sort of a summer's glare, uh, especially due to the bright colours used on the grass here and the deep shadows that these two cattle are um, covered by. And that kind of leads me into the bits or the, the, that I really like about this painting, the sort of sense of emotion and mood that I've, I feel I've captured. So the first thing is I propped this painting up a few days ago in, in the living room at home and I just sort of said to my wife, oh, you know, what do you think? And she goes, oh, that's cool. And then a few seconds went by and maybe a minute. And then she goes, oh, hey, there's a third cow there. Referring to this animal almost completely cloaked in shadow and rendered with very little detail on the right. And that's exactly the effect I was hoping for. I wanted people to look at this painting and see these two cattle whose heads are in the bright light. And then only after a while noticed that on the edge of the painting, we've got a third cow. So I was pretty pleased about that. And now coming back to my point uh, about the, uh, this cow's head here, which isn't worked up into full detail, I really like the idea of a viewer of a painting being able to see the method and the steps that the artist has used to achieve a full level of detail. And I've managed to include that in this painting. So if we look at the right-hand cow, we've got almost no detail at all. And then as we move from right to left, we've got an intermediate level of detail. And then by the time we come to the main focus of the picture, uh, we've got pretty much a full level of detail on the cow's head. I also like the fact that I've got high level of detail in the foreground, and the levels of detail are gradually reduced as we go towards the background. Um, and then I've continued with this theme that I often have in my work of using enhanced blues uh, for shadowy regions. And there's plenty of that going on here. I've got some blue outlines. I've got blue shadow on the face of this cow, some blue on the highlighted areas here, in fact. And then the shadows here and here and on the third animal are very much uh, pure blue. So in summary, all I'm going to do for now is add my signature to the uh, right hand bottom corner of the painting round about here. Uh, and then I'll pop it up on the website. And then, of course, I just have to think of a title. OK, so I've signed the painting and uploaded the image to my website. So I'm just going to check that uh, that's all there OK. So we go to the Cow Paintings Gallery and there we have it. There's the, the new painting that you've just followed me through step by step. And I decided to call this particular painting what we do in the shadows. 
um, inspired by the spoof documentary by Taika Wahiti. I think that's how you present the, that's how you uh, pronounce the director's name. Anyway, it's a pretty funny or very funny spoof documentary on vampires. And although there are obviously no vampires in this image, I thought what we do in the shadows was very appropriate for this landscape painting of cows in the Devon countryside. Um, so the image is up there on my website. If you want to take a closer look, you can, as with all the images on my website, select a region and then click on that. And then it will give you a high resolution preview. So you can see all the brushwork and stuff. You see the brushwork I've included on the cow's face there. You can check out any part of the image in high resolution. Um, well, let's just close that preview. Uh, and you can see obviously my other work and various products available. So thanks once again for watching me create this painting from beginning to end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all about how I went about this painting or any other aspects of my artwork, please feel free to get in touch and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thanks again for watching.